What's going on, everybody? The germ here. Oh, my God. So, awesome, awesome stuff. Um, I couldn't get that Atari game the other day, the 50th anniversary, which was actually just yesterday. But good thing it came. It came today. Um, got a bunch of cool pickup things that I want to show you guys, as well as the Atari 50th collection, which I am dying to play. It's going to be so awesome. Um, but check this out. So, I go. I try to go to the same two GameStops. Um, I don't try to stay low to one, I try to stay low to two, and one of them saved me this awesome Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 display, which I'm currently playing. It has an awesome countdown clock uh, to the game release uh, right on the bottom. Um, it came with like a, kind of like a steel book cover, but it's not really steel, I don't know, it's just like a display piece that goes up here. And I don't know where this came from, because this wasn't on display when I first looked at it. But look at this, a Call of Duty Modern Warfare Canteen. So I'm currently playing this game. Um, it's alright. It's alright. I like it. I don't love it. Um, there are some other Call of Duties that I like better it, but there are some cool aspects to it that I like. Um, so very nice, and I love this display. This is the first display piece I've ever gotten. And then, of course, it came with the, uh, which I'm really not a Steelbook guy, but it came with the Steelbook cover. Um, so that's that's for the pre-ordering the game. And then I was in a different GameStop uh, yesterday, and um, I got something else, but I forgot I was going to show you guys this. I went to actually Walmart, and I am the biggest Sonic fan. I liked Sonic and Crash Bandicoot were probably my two biggest uh, video game characters that I loved the most. And I went into Walmart, and I saw this Sonic Frontiers um, uh, little advertisement, and I asked the guy at Walmart if I could have it. It was locked behind the glass. Um, he said, yeah, I think so. I don't think there's any problem with that. So I thought this was super cool. They never put the little hang tag on the side, so it didn't ruin it. Uh, so we got that for free. I have not gotten Sonic Frontiers yet. I used to love Sonic games, but lately, uh, I wish it would just go back to the 2D Sonic. That was the best way to do it. Then I went into a GameStop I never go in. And when I went in there, cool guy works there um, named Jesse. It's in this mall that there's like five stores in the whole entire mall, including GameStop. And a uh, Target and a Dick Sporting Goods, and uh, that's about it. Um, and I'm looking through the games, and I've never seen this happen before. But Streets of Rage, love this game, already have it. But this is the limited run uh, version. So I, I got this. It was pretty cool to see this. I've never seen a limited run game in a GameStop. And it was complete with a little booklet and everything. And while I was in there, I also got a 3DS game. Um, they seem to be selling 3DS games like crazy again. No Wii U, but they sell 3DS. So P Paper Mario Sticker Star. Um, I know nothing about this one and never played it, but we got it. <laughs> and why I was doing out there, what I was doing out there, if I can talk right, is I was trying to find something very specific. And I had to return to one of my normal stores. I was looking for a... Um, God of War PlayStation 5 controller and I couldn't find one anywhere. I found out about them too late. I found out about them when people were doing um, unboxings the day of and guess what I found? This was the hardest thing to find. Um, good luck out there if you guys think you could find this. Um, I got lucky and found it at a GameStop uh, but that was hard to find. $75 for that and and I wanted to show you guys this. So uh, last week I picked up an Atari with no idea that this this was coming out. And I picked up all these games. And I didn't, never really showed the games. Uh, but we got some pretty cool ones. Berserk. Got uh, Space Invaders. Look at that. These are all in the original box. It's absolutely nuts. Missile Command. And, you know, I always tell people my first video game system was the Sega Master System. And then I was really thinking about it the other day. And when I lived in Florida, when I was a little kid, right before we moved to New York, we had an Atari. And I forgot about it. And I hated it back then. <laughs> but now I like it. Um, combat. All right. And then there's a bunch of other games. And then I never really showed this off. Look at this. How cool is that? This is from like 1978. How awesome is that? Love it. In the box. I have no desire to hook this up to my TV, but maybe we should. And then, yesterday, which we, we filmed the video and put that up already, 
We found the Atari 50th collection at Target out one day early. They would not let me buy it. It would not ring up at the register. But here we are a day later. And guess what? We got Atari. I think we got it at least. This should be it right in here. The Atari 50th anniversary collection or 50th collection. I think it's a shoe called an anniversary collection. So it sounds right. Maybe it is. I don't know. But here we go. Here's. Here it is. Atari 50th, the anniversary celebration. Whoa, way fancy. And look at that. Oh my God. I heard there was something like 100 games on here. And it doesn't even list all any of the games yet. There's 100 games on here, plus like interviews and stuff like that. And they don't even list the games on this thing, on the box. So that is super exciting. I can't wait. Like imagine this, 1978. All these games, plus a whole bunch more, are on this one cartridge imagine one day like 50 years from now you have the whole entire nintendo switch library on one uh cartridge that would be cool or one digital download and then i also ordered this now these look the same from the outside right but this is actually ten dollars more and i normally don't do this because i don't care about steel books like i said with the call of duty stuff i won't pay extra for them but this one i thought was awesome I'm not going to open this one. I'm going to keep it as a collector's. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's gold. It looks super awesome. And the reason why I don't like these is um, they just scratch up really easy in your collection. This one has a nice like sleeve, so maybe that wouldn't happen. Uh, but this is the same game, but includes an exclusive um, steelbook and a poster inside, which maybe I'll have to watch someone else's unboxing because I'm just going to put this in my collection. But yeah, awesome. So pick this up if you're interested in this. I think it's on the PlayStation 4. It might be on the PS5. And I believe it's also on Xbox Series X. I'm going to play mine on the Switch. I find that to be the most appropriate format to play this on. Um, and I'm super excited. And uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe somehow I'll bring you guys a video of this and see what's on it. Um, most of these games I have not played. Um, there are some cool ones on there. There are some ones I'm not interested in. There are some games from Jaguar and Lynx. Um, and I was hoping that they would put some games on there from PC, like um, Roller Coaster Tycoon, which I played so much of um, in my early 20s. But I heard it's not on there, although I heard a rumor that it was going to be on there. I guess it's not on there. And the other one that I would really have liked to see was like an arcade one that I loved, Hard Driving. Oh my god, that was the most realistic, most difficult, hardest driving game I've ever played. I think I played it once or twice in the arcade because it was so difficult, I found it absolutely impossible. Uh, but there are a lot of good games on here. Maybe we'll check it out. Maybe we'll do another video on it. I don't know. Until next time, guys, I am the germ. Like, share, subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.